Okay, so this is our activities for today. Because the weather is not that brilliant, it's really going to be stormy ones, the strong wind. I think it's the rain that is continuously pouring that like mud and it this was already been since December and it's on and off. Anyway, so today that's why I focus on my uh, orchids because it needs replanting as you can see. The roots are already damaging but the, it's still healthy. This one bears loads of nice flowers last year starting from June to December. I think and then this is the other one as this still ongoing but it's going to die soon and this one had already flowers and then it's another flowering shoot that's coming on but I'm not very happy the way it looks although it looks very healthy but let me see I don't know if you can disturb it but let us have experiment I always love experimenting so this is what we need. I had my seed catcher and then I already washed this one and we have to sterilize them but although I didn't really follow some time but this time we will try so some because this one is delicate now yeah so flowers so I wanted it to maintain that one hopefully there is still another one there but I just bring it here one by one because there's no space for us and that's going to the bin. That's clean. So, let me just stop for one. I have to share to you my, my orchids. It's really blooming like mud. The flowers. See? And it's so amazing. Well, everybody's had a hard time how to flower. And this one is just mud. I'm really pleased with it. So we had this. As I said, I cleaned the signature and then we have this, I bought this orchid potting mix. It's like five pounds something in this amount. I already bought some. I had an old one from last year, previous years. The only thing, because I, I had it from previous years, but I mix it up with the old ones that they had it before. I should put this one on a compost maybe or maybe it will work sometimes. And I hid in it and I forgot it, I have already some I should not buy but anyway. Let us oh. Yes. Oh. one after another. That's always a disaster. Right. Let me just put it there. The reason why I put it here in this pantry because it is more accessible with water. I will just drain them and put them in the water. So this is my activities. That one just leave it for space for us. So I just ordered this in Amazon. This orchid potting. And it's crystal. I think it is most it is good if we will just put it in a crystal instead of this one because the roots will be seen because it has to be aired actually the normal habitat for this orchid it should be in the woods. You know they, they stick on the woods. The rotten woods and the tribe tomats in that one in the, in the wild but because um, so this is that's what my experience is where I come from we normally put it in the woods and then tie them up until the, the roots will embrace the woods but this time we try to improvise because we want to make it our home decor so I just removed this one I bought this one from Amazon I think the six pieces cost me around Five, six pounds I think and it is uh, 13 cm bigger than this one so and then I did some crush of the eggshells you know I crushed them because I wanted to spray them over that is what I did last time and it works and well, I really copied some of it from the internet which is really weird and it's really fascinating when just internet are helping you on how to do your own DIY gardening tips okay so let's start right the only thing I this one I had to put it in a bin 
not really in a bin. I mean, put it somewhere and put it in the first, the first one. Yeah, I did the first one. Just put it there. Yeah. Okay, let's put it there. Yeah. some comments to me if this is ideal to, to disturb the growth when there is already a flower but I think I, I'm very not very I'm very unhappy looking to that see the roots are all over the corner and I think they cannot breathe so anyway we will find out and let you know as we go along Later, what happened? So this is my potting pots. So let me just. Actually, they look so healthy. Oh, they look so healthy inside. It's green, but I think it did not breathe. Oh, let me put this on here. Ah, that's really cool. So, I think this one is the one that's rotten and that one, but it's really look healthy. So I concluded, because I did this one, I trimmed it last time, the old roots, because it was dying. See that one? But surprisingly, it was thriving. Oh, that's really cool. Anyway, I just transferred here to look it nicer. So let's keep that one aside and put a new first one. So let us just put that one. I don't think I will cut them because they look healthy. I don't need to cut them. See that one? Because they look healthy. This one is healthy. It looks, there's another growth there. So I try to keep it that way. So keep that one. If you can see how I did. I did I just replant it because I want it to look nicer and more you know, looks nicer if it is crystal and you can see what's going on underneath so put that one in this is my version you know last year when I did this one I transplanted it and I had no plastic container, so I just use make use of that ordinary one, and it gives me a lot of nice, beautiful flowers. I would like to see the flowers of this from last year, and it takes me around from June, June, June is starting to come out June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. It's just giving me a nice, beautiful. I think it's nice if we just put it away. So it looks 
some more. Nice looking. So yeah. Then let us soak them in water. Soak them and blend them so that this box will be uh, soak them. I make use of this. Mm, that's why I like to do it here because it's more convenient. All I have to do is just soak them. And before we do that, we will spray this, sprinkle this. I will sprinkle this nice eggshells that I powdered it. And it does magic. Okay, so by December. And they said they don't put that one because it will, uh, you know, you don't put it because it will flatten, but I don't think so. I did it many times. I think because it doesn't dry out, but uh, for me, it does dry out. So, please soak, soak them. Until it is, you can feel it, but it's very soft. The container started to become heavy, so it means the water was being absorbed. And then don't put it in direct sunlight because there is sunlight. I did it last time when I moved house, and I put it in the window so I didn't realize that the window sill was directly hit by the sunlight in the early morning, and then it destroyed by the leaves. Uh, I thought it doesn't work anymore, but then this is it. This has been with me for about how many years? This is my death from all my friends during all my birthdays. And Jim is still exists and thriving. And I was really inspired last year's bloom was really good. So I, 